incredible degree. You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure we need to merge with Silicon to have like a really good time on, on the planet. <laughs> and, I, and I also think that like this whole technology thing is a little bit like, you know, we should recognize that it's a transition. Like I'm personally incredibly bored of staring at like little glowing screens, whether they're Blackberries or laptops. I mean, this can't be like the point, you know, we're not meant to be like staring into these things, you know, for much longer, I don't think, you know. We want to have more of like a fully em embodied uh, experience of, of reality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you briefly mentioned maps. You already asked the question. If I did. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking for someone in the overflow room, though. Okay, okay go for it. Um, <laughs> my, my, my friend heard you mention maps, and he wanted to ask uh, if you thought it was appropriate that they um, employ and fund people with, uh, as he put it, serious legal baggage. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the context of what he's referring to exactly, so I can't. I'll tell him to it. speak to you about it. Okay. Thank you. Guy behind, in front of you. In front of you. There's a guy with a hand up. Oh God. Okay. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Paradox. Hi. I got a ringer in the audience. Hey. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you about the contemporary myths that are in in our culture right now. The 2012 Transformers superheroes, mythical uh, elements. Um, so much of our uh, contemporary mind is being kind of pressed with images from beyond. Uh, I wondered if you had any commentary about that in the sense of are we, uh, do you feel like we're being primed from other points of view, uh, Hollywood or what influences Hollywood, to kind of be pointed in a certain direction? And your view, since you're now like since you've created a film, like what your view is on the whole contemporary myth world uh, and what they're, what they're still kind of pumping at us. Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess a lot of times I, I see Hollywood films as um, it's kind of like an archetypal process in the psyche that gets projected, you know, through a $600 million movie or whatever, you know, like Avatar or something. Um, um, yeah, I mean, um, I don't really know what else to say to that besides that. How do you feel about Avatar? Um, I think movie? it's possible that James Cameron took ayahuasca, and now, 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 now he's fighting to stop a huge uh, uh, dam project in Brazil with Sting. Uh, I think that's probably should, you know, is, is telling us something. Uh, Daniel, at this point, I think we do we need to stop. go into the book signing. Cool. So um, thank you all very much. Thank you, Daniel.